hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install the latest version of kali linux version 2023.4 on vmware either you're using windows 10 or windows 11 this should work now the first thing we have to do is download and install vmware so let's head to our browser and then search for vmware and you can see the first link which heads to vmware.com click on it and then up here you should see products click on products and then select vmware workstation player under desktop hypervisor so click on vmware workstation player and click on download for free okay so you should see the latest version of vmware right here and you can see the release date now we'll click on go to downloads by the side over here and here we go this is vmware for linux and this is vmware for windows so we're going to download vmware for windows by clicking on the download button right here and it should start downloading now after downloading vmware we also have to download kali linux installation file so let's open a new tab and then head to kali.org now click on the download button on your screen and it should take you down here now you can see kali linux installer image and virtual machines now we are going with the installer image so click on installer images and it should take you down here you can see kali linux version 2023.4 now click on the 64-bit installer right here and it should start downloading the file size is about 3.9 gigabytes now after downloading kali linux and vmware we can then close our browser and then open our download folder and here we go this is vmware player and this is kali linux version 2023.4 installer iso file now first we have to install vmware so let's double click on it next agree to the terms next next opt out and then install installed now click on finish now let's open vmware from our desktop and then click on create a new virtual machine now let's select installer disk image file and then browse now we're going to select kali linux installer file in our download folder which we downloaded the iso file and then open next set the guest operating system to linux and then set the version to ubuntu 64 bit next this is the location where it to be installed next this is the disk size i'm going to give it about 50 gigabytes but you can give it whatever you want next click on customize hardware to make few changes now the memory is the ram which you can set to whatever you want i'm going to give it 6.5 gigabytes of ram since i have 16 gig on my pc now you shouldn't give more than 40 percent of your ram to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer same with the processor right here I'm going to give it three cores since I can run up to eight cores and then we can click on close finish now we can click on play virtual machine to begin the installation hit enter to go with graphical install now set a language for the installation and continue set your country or region continue set your keyboard layout continue now you can set a host name if you want continue domain name as well if you have any available you want to use continue enter a full name for this user continue username which we are going to use to log in after the installation and then password as well
Now select your time zone. We are going with guided use entire disk. Now this is going to create the necessary partitions by itself. So let's continue. Select the drive which we allocated storage to earlier. Continue. All files in one partition. Continue. Finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Continue. Write changes to the disk. Yes. So allow that and then continue. And it should start installing the base system. Now after about a minute, you should see an option to select the default desktop environment you want to use. Now select the default desktop environment you want to use. By default, it is set to XFace, but you can switch from that to GNOME or KDE Plasma. But in my case, I'm just going with XFace since this is quite okay. And then continue. Now we have to select yes to install Grub Bootloader to our main drive. So select yes and then continue. Select our drive right here. Continue. Installation completed. Now let's click on continue to reboot. Now log in with the username and password you used. So basically this is how to install the latest version of Kali Linux on VMware. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.